Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is going to be an exciting day because I happen to be in Grenada, which is an island of the Caribbean, and there's a private medical school here called St. George's University. So I'm going to be spending the day at the university and living life in the day of a medical student in the Caribbean. Right, so we're hanging out at the campus. Hi, Wait. my name is Sundas. Uh, what else do you want me to say? I don't, I don't know, whatever you like. And, and we know each other because Sundas was a student at Cambridge two years right. ago. So she's going to be showing us around as we go to classes and things, and we'll be filming what life is like as a med student in, in Grenada. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're having a pathophys small group um, on hematology today. We just discuss, like we discuss cases, clinical cases. So we just had an hour, sort of supervision style. There were like eight of us in the room and we were going over a hematology case. So it was sort of like our pre-clinical -pre supervisions and that very discussion based, very kind of back and forth between us and the facilitator. But these guys seem to do a lot of clinical stuff like right off the bat. Like this was a second year class, but in our second year we would have just done the sciences. Whereas they're doing basic sciences, but with a more clinical context. And yeah, the class was really good. Everyone seemed to know quite a lot of stuff, really rogue stuff about like the different types of Von Willi brand disease and stuff that I'd never even heard of, but good fun. So this is the sort of view that you get if you're a medical student at St. George's University. Just casually walking through the library area and this is the sort of view that you get. It's just not fair really. Having a cheeky stroll through the grounds, more ridiculous views behind me. That looks like a private yacht sailing in the distance. But the university has apparently been around for the last 41 years. And I was chatting to some of the faculty guys. So they were explaining kind of the founding of St. George's University and how it started off as being not very good, but then each year it just gets better and better. And now it's become like an internationally renowned center for medical academic excellence. Right, let's do some hiking. All right, let's do some more exploring of the cliffs because this is obviously what a standard medical student does when they're at this university. This seems like a pretty ideal place to spend a bit of time. If anyone from St. George's University is watching this, then just for the record, I would be very happy for you to sponsor me to come back here again and make another video about, about your university. Lots of medical applicants watch this vlog, I hope. And yeah, given that you advertise in lots of places that medical applicants go, maybe you might like to sponsor a, a YouTuber to visit your university more often. Just uh, putting that out there. All right, so we just had lunch. We got a really good chicken wrap from one of the vendors. Now we're gonna find some place to fly the drone from. And then again, maybe around sunset time. Apparently the sunset's very pretty. Is the sunset pretty? It is. Excellent. It's gorgeous. Okay, perfect. This mango lassi is really good. I feel like you can tell a lot about a place by the quality of its mango lassi. And this is, this is legit. mission successful got some pretty cool shots we were almost hit by warnings for the no-fly zone because the airport is about two miles away and a no-fly zone is technically a mile and a half radius from the airport now what do we got next in this lectures fun I'm going in all right we're walking in walking into the lecture busted out the camera people are probably looking at us weird there's a lot of like international faces around and we're gonna sit near the front because we're super keen to learn about pain and inflammation So we've just had two hours of pharmacology lectures talking about the pharmacology of pain. There are about 700 people in this lecture theater and they've got a really interesting way of monitoring attendance. They use these like clicker devices um, and everyone has their own little clicker. And in every lecture there is at least one question and you have to answer it with your specific clicker because your clicker is linked to your account and therefore they can tell who's in the lecture. So the medical students who actually go here, uh, they've got another two hours of lectures, which are going to be about endocrinology, which might have been quite fun, but I thought coming all the way to the Caribbean uh, to sit in a lecture theatre for a solid four hours might not have been the best use of time. So instead, I'm going to sit on this bench overlooking the sea, have a few bites of a chicken wrap and, and, and do a bit of work. This should be a solid two hours and then we're going to fly the drone later. All right, so it's six o'clock. We're approaching golden hour. The sun is on the verge of setting. 
Uh, the light is pretty great in the sky, so we're gonna switch to the drone, try and get some shots of the sunset for the for the gram, as they say. Um, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully the footage should turn out all right. <laughs> 